All right guys, we're back at it here on our tech channel with another product review. If you guys haven't been here before, welcome. This is our channel where you're gonna find all your informational stuff, your reviews, your unboxings, anything to help you along in your RC journey. Today is pretty awesome because I get a chance to review the Rover 3 Tilt Rotor from FR Sky. So this is a unique aircraft and it's pretty different from things that are out there on the market today. You either have race drones or you have an airplane and this kind of blends both worlds into one. It has these awesome tilt mechanisms on the front rotors. That way it gives it more of an airplane feel, at least in my opinion it does. Now this does run on Betaflight, so like any other Betaflight quad, you're gonna actually Actually be able to put different flight modes on here because it has that six axis gyro and so you're gonna have your attitude mode your horizon mode angle mode you're gonna be able to program all that right into the vehicle so since this does have three motors it is a tricopter but it's not like your traditional tricopter you would see such as like our backbone it has tilt motors on the front so when you yaw those motors are gonna turn to give you yaw control unlike our backbone where we have the rear motor on a servo. Also, you've probably noticed most multi-rotors don't have landing gear and this multi-rotor here does and that's pretty cool because it allows you to taxi on the ground or it, you can impress your friends by doing some touch and goes which I actually was having fun. I was going out to our picnic tables out here and I was doing a couple touch and goes on the picnic tables with the landing gear and I just kept on flying. So that's definitely a unique experience with this aircraft. Now it's hard to notice but in the front it does have an FPV camera so you can fly this like you're sitting inside the cockpit as long as you have your own supplied goggles which made this experience even better um, and it does have a protective lens cover so when you're not using it you could pop it up but when you're using it you just slide the bottom down and flip the cover off. Now the VTX in here is pretty good it does all the bands and it, it does adjustable milliwatts so if you're flying with somebody that has 25 milliwatts on their transmitter you can take your 600 milliwatt transmitter and actually adjust it down so you guys can fly together. Now, another thing FR Sky is known for is their Lewis script. So this kit right here was a ready to fly version. So you got your controller with your aircraft and you were able to go online to their website and download a Lewis script that you can upload straight to the transmitter. So another thing I was impressed with was how long the flight time was on this. And I only put a three cell 1300 inside and I got close to 11, 12 minutes and that was not going slow or taking my time. I was actually doing flips, rolls, and uh, just cruising around under the trees out here at Edgewater. But this thing's flight times were pretty impressive. Now the weight of this does come in at 220 grams without battery. So you gotta keep that in mind if you're one of our friends that lives overseas, um, that if you put a battery and the aircraft in here, you're most likely gonna be over 250 grams. But that being said, it, it does take a couple of bumps pretty good. I was bumping it around into our pavilion out there and I haven't broke anything yet. But I know if I do have a nasty crash that since it is made out of this lightweight material, I have a feeling that I'm gonna be breaking some plastic parts. So yeah, the compatible batteries for this aircraft are, you can run anywhere from a three cell to four cell and that's 800 milliamp all the way up to 1300 milliamp. And the one that I've been cruising on has been the three cell 1300 milliamp. And that's because that's the only battery we had charged in our cabinet at the time. So I threw that guy in there and surprisingly on a three cell, I haven't flown a three cell on any kind of multi-rotor in a while. It felt pretty good and I was able to go around and explore, go under trees and do all kinds of like scenarios like that. Now the ready to fly kit did come with this transmitter and this is their X Lite and it's more of like a gaming controller feel to it. So if you're a gamer and you're going to something like this, you're gonna feel more natural with thumbs. I didn't use this when I was flying it. I had my FR Sky Tyrannus X9D already ready to go. So I just bounded to that. And that's pretty awesome because you can use all kinds of FR Sky transmitters on this aircraft. It actually comes with a flight controller that has a built-in receiver. So if you do crash or you end up moving on from this aircraft, you can essentially take that flight controller and put it on any drone of, that you want. So yeah, the one thing that uh, the guys around the shop and I know especially Alex was asking me was like, who would you recommend this for? Cause it's not a traditional drone or racing drone and it's not a traditional airplane and it's kind of both 
really. And I would recommend it to a plane guy that wants to get into multi-rotors and he's unsure. Or a multi-rotor guy that wants something a little bit different in their fleet. Now, if this is something you guys want to purchase, I'll make sure to leave some kind of link in the description below. That way you guys can find it out and get yourself one. Make sure to keep an eye out and hit that subscribe, that notification bell. We're going to be putting out videos like this weekly and I'll catch you on the next one.